welcome. We did our project on a temperature uh, control system. I'm Ansel Boynton, and this uh, is George Musa. All right, our requirements for this is to uh, measure the current temperature. Use the SBI core just like in uh, uh, the temperature sensing lab. Record the temperature, display it um, on the LCD. We also want to be able to have it to adjust the uh, high and low temperature settings. So you can uh, not only sense the temperature, but control uh, the temperature. We also want to display the uh, power usage of our circuit. So that will enable you to uh, better adjust your high and low temperature settings uh, for maximum power efficiency and to use, make the smallest code. All right, we basically use the same core that we've, we finished the course with in the temperature sensor. The one large addition was uh, coming out, we had to add an additional SPI for our second uh, uh, voltage sensing. Uh, for one, we uh, checked our temperature sensor. For the second one, we had a power detection. We used only the one uh, 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 A to D module. Uh, for how, in general, how this works, we're going to start in our, uh, if the temperature's good, it will wait, it will do nothing. It'll display the current temperature. If ever the current temperature gets uh, higher than the turn fan on setting, temperature's too hot, we'll turn the fan on and it will stay that way until it gets to a uh, turn fan off setting. So there'll be a slight offset, so it won't turn on, turn off, turn on, turn off. It will um, stay there, turn fan off, it'll go back to the temperature's good. If it ever is too cold, it'll do the same thing for the heater. And then back again when it reaches a uh, higher threshold. Okay, for the LCD menus, um, whenever you load the program, it starts with showing the current temperature. Um, you can adjust uh, um, the units from degree Celsius to Kelvin to degree Fahrenheit by pressing button one. Um, then by pressing button zero, well, the first one that shows the current temperature, it records the high and the low. <laughs> it records the high and the low. It keeps track of the temperature, how the range of the temperature. Then you press button zero, it moves into setting the fan settings. The arrow shows that you can adjust this value, which is the high temperature value. So you can adjust the uh, if uh, the arrow is pointing to high, using button two and three, you can adjust uh, the temperature. Then by pressing button zero again, you can the arrow will move from here to here, and you can adjust the lower end of the temperature. And this is for the fan setting. Then uh, pressing button zero again, it will uh, it will uh, take you to the heat setting. Again, arrow pointing to the H, which is the high temperature. Uh, you set the high temperature, press button zero again, you set the low temperature, uh, and that will give you the range when the fan is on, between what temperatures are the fan is on, are on, and between what temperature the heat is on. Then um, you press button zero again to, sit, to show the power. Uh, it shows the maximum recorded power as well as the current uh, power being dissipated by the entire circuit. Uh, like I said, button one will change the units uh, throughout all those different uh, uh, modes. Uh, for uh, the interfacing circuit we used, um, I'm going to talk about testing issues we had and which led us to this circuit design. Uh, first, uh, the Nexus port doesn't give enough current, like we all know, so we have to uh, drive the voltage to control the PGT. Uh, turn on and turn off, from, to turn on and turn off. From the Nexus board, we have two inputs, one to control the fan and one to control uh, the heater, which is, uh, we have a light bulb, 20 watt light bulb. Um, we're using a power supply uh, at, that supplies 12 volts, um, two relays. Uh, so the BJTs will control the relay, turn on and turn off, and the relay will give the fan and the heater 12 volts, which is enough to turn them on with no issues. Uh, the reason why we have resistors before the BJTs, because while testing, those BJTs were getting uh, hot. So it means that even though Nexus Port doesn't 
give enough current, but it is too high for a base current for the BJT. Normally, it should be in the uh, micro amps range, and the Nexus board is giving in the milliamp range. Um, as you can see, it has the whole circuit has a false ground. This is where we're making our readings for the power. All the current going through the circuit is going to join through here. And that's where we're reading the voltage for the power. This resistor right here is a power resistor. It's a, a one ohm power resistor. We were using different type of resistors first, half watt, and we ended up frying them because our system is consuming much more than that. So we have to use a power resistor. Status of integration and testing, it works. See for yourself. This is in uh, the first screen. We have the current temperature, the highest recorded and the lowest recorded. Um, you can reset um, these by pressing this button. You can go through all these. This will allow you to change the high value. Press it again, arrow moves over, allows you to change the low. That goes through for all these settings. And finally, we have our power. Um, when nothing is being turned on, we have a very low power consumption, 0.3 watts. Uh, now if we want to change these, so you can actually see this move. Um, I'm going to lower these a bit. Raise the temperature settings. Each time you press this, it goes by one degree. The clicking sound is from the relay, even though uh, the power supply only gives out one amp, and the uh, system we have requires two. So the relay keeps on clicking just at the beginning. But whenever it's on, it stays on. Uh, so now the light bulb is raising the temperature. It acts as a heater because uh, the setting he inputted is uh, and it uh, should turn off is a higher temperature. So we want the desired temperature to be higher. Then it reaches a maximum. The light bulb will turn off, and the fans will turn on to keep it to cool it back down. And it keeps within uh, is the setting the desired uh, range between the light bulb and uh, the fan. And the power recorded, measured right now is... Hang on, I'll give you the power. It is... With both fans running, we pull uh, 2.6 watts. Um, and the maximum value is still recorded from when the light was on. And it's a 20 watt light bulb. And so it draws significantly more power to heat this thing up than to cool it. <coughs> All right, it should be turning off. Very soon. So, it reached the lower limit, the heater turned back on to keep it within that range. And you can change all four of these settings. I have the window very, very small right now to show all the different changes. But you can theoretically adjust all the four settings for whatever your applications you needed and for minimum power. A range then? Yes. yes. To keep it within a desired range.